Hey Yang Gang, my name's Katie, and today we're gonna walk through some more advanced steps on how to caucus. If you didn't see our previous video, we went over the absolute basics of what you need to know to get out and caucus for Andrew Yang on February 3rd, 2020. This video will be specifically targeted at our precinct captains. If you haven't already signed up to be a precinct captain, head over to yang2020.com slash IA captain in order to sign up. Once there, our Yang staff will train you up even better than this video. But for now, here are the basics. As we mentioned in our last video, you will have to arrive at your caucus location no later than 6.30. Many locations will be open sooner than that, so check online to find out if your location opens at an earlier time. We ask that you get there as early as possible to ensure that no weather affects your travel. All caucus locations will close at 7 o'clock p.m. on the dot. So if you are planning to arrive on the later side of things, make sure to take that into account. So long as you're in line by 7 o'clock, you don't have to worry. The caucus secretary will stand at the back of the line at that time and no one else will be allowed to enter. When you walk in, there will be two different lines to sign in to go to caucus. On the one side will be people who have not yet registered. So those are the independents and Republicans changing parties, new voters, and people who have changed addresses. On the other side will be people who have pre-registered. If you've pre-registered, you can just walk in, say your name, and you'll be let in. If you have not pre-registered, go up to the person who is taking the information, hand in your ID, some form of mail, or find a person to vouch for you. Once you've entered the location, locate your Yang Gang precinct captain. You can't miss them. They'll be the person with the hat on their head with the Iowa flag on the brim. If you are the precinct captain, make sure that you get there nice and early. Everyone will be looking for you, and so if you're not there, we can't properly organize. Signs and other Yang Gang merch are allowed in the venue, so be sure to come decked out so everyone can locate each other. The more we rally together, the better we'll do. Once everyone is in the caucus location, after 7 p.m., the temporary chair of the caucus will call everything to order. The chair will begin by electing a permanent chair. Usually this will just end up being themselves. Next, they will elect a caucus secretary. Once all of that is in order, speeches can begin. Elected officials are guaranteed a speech. If you're not an elected official, but you're running for office, you may be allowed to speak. It's all up to that chair. After speeches, the first stage of presidential preference begins. Presidential preference is the part of the caucus you are probably familiar with. People walk around the room and stand in groups to indicate which candidate they support. Before the formation of groups begins, the caucus chair will determine the threshold for viability. If a presidential preference group is not viable, the supporters who pick that candidate have to choose again. Viability is determined based upon the number of delegates your precinct gets to contribute to the state level caucus. The number of delegates was assigned to your precinct by the Iowa Democratic Party after the last election based upon turnout. This is the first part of the caucus that will involve a little math. Your caucus chair will calculate the threshold for viability based upon the following conditions. If your precinct gives four or more delegates, then you need 15% of caucus goers with your group to achieve viability. If your precinct gives three delegates, then you need 16.67% of caucus goers to achieve viability. If your precinct gives two delegates, then you need 25% of caucus goers to achieve viability. If your precinct only gives one delegate, then you just need a simple majority of caucus goers. Now, what does this mean? Let's say you and 19 of your other neighbors show up to the caucus, so 20 people total. The temporary chair will count these people, determine that that is the number, and then do some simple math. Let's say you get to elect four delegates. If you're electing four delegates, we do 20 times 0.15, and we arrive at three people for the threshold for viability. After the viability threshold is determined, the first round of presidential preference can begin. Groups will form around precinct captains in about a five minute time interval. After that time interval, the caucus chair will say that the groups are set. This is when we take out the presidential preference cards. On the one side, you will see a big number one on it. This is where you put the first name and the last name of your candidate of choice. In our case, Andrew Yang. You'll then sign at the bottom. If you don't sign the card or you don't put the first name and last name of the candidate, it may not count in the instance of a recount. The presidential preference card is the official way that we show our support for our candidates. After the first round of alignment, the caucus chair will come up to your group and ask your precinct captain how many people are there. They will then double check that count. That will be the official count for the caucus. If you've reached viability, you're good. That group will remain your group for the rest of the caucus. There's no realigning and you are guaranteed that number of votes. If you haven't reached viability, this is where it gets interesting. 
your precinct captain will receive advice from HQ about what it is that they should do next. Maybe it's that we're going to try to work together with another group to form a larger group. Maybe we'll go join another candidate. But no matter what, this is where it matters. Listen to your precinct captain. After all of these things are tallied and groups are determined viable or unviable is when the second round of alignment happens. This will be the final expression of your presidential preference. You'll have 15 minutes to go around and try to convince other people to join your group. Remember, the more Yang supporters we have, the more delegates we can get. So it's super important to try to convince people who are not aligned to join us. After those 15 minutes are up, a recount will take place. Now remember, you can't have fewer people than you had before. You can only have gained new supporters. The caucus chair will once again come around to each group and ask, how many people do you have? They'll then count to confirm. The next step is determining the number of delegates awarded to the various groups. The caucus chair will do this math, but we have an app to double check just for you. The formula works like this. It'll be the number of members in your group times the number of delegates that your precinct gets divided by the total number of people who caucused. So for example, let's say we have a group of three and the number of delegates awarded is four. You would divide that by 20 to see that you are awarded exactly one delegate. Now, if you actually did that math with me, you get 0.6. But in this case, 0.6 rounds up to one, so you're awarded one delegate. And it'll work like that for each of the different scenarios. It is important to note that if you have 0.4, for example, it would round down. So let's say by some variation, we ended up with 2.4 delegates awarded. That would only mean that we get two delegates. Now that the number of delegates has been determined, your group will elect together exactly who you want to have represented from your group as a delegate. Once all of the groups have selected their delegates, the entire caucus ratifies those members. After the delegate selection is all done, there's one final vote to determine the platform committee and the committee of committees that will go on to various other caucuses. This is super important as it determines the trajectory of the Democratic Party here in Iowa. Thanks so much for watching this video today, guys. If you have any questions, all you need to do is go to yang2020.com Iowa for more information.